Hey guys, welcome to another Wig Wednesday. And today I am going to present to you one of Altre's new wig line that they've been coming out with. Altre actually contacted me, which I was really stoked about because I'm, as you guys seen the last couple of videos that I've done on Altre, even during the summer and springtime, I've been really obsessed with them. So I guess they saw a sister was loving their new wigs. So they gave me a chance by presenting to you guys um, one of their wigs. So I've seen these wigs for a couple of maybe a month or two. And I was kind of iffy about it. But I love trying new things as you guys know. So I wanted to try this new faux bob that they have. The faux bob. And it's, um, it's a lace wig that you can style three ways. You can put it in a ponytail, you can leave it out, or you can tuck it underneath and make it look like a bob. Now, when I saw this, I was like, you can't make a bob look like a bob if it's not cut, right? So, honestly, for when I tried it out, I definitely think I will use the bob look, which is this one right here. I will use this look when I go swimming with the kids you know i i have a swimming wig i have a workout wig so this wig here once you know it starts getting old or if i just want to just wear it i can actually put it up without using hand ties or anything or it getting wet or putting on a short wig or whatever the case may be um i can wear this going swimming as well as working out so that's how i'm going to use the bob and it's cute if you style it really nicely so Let's get into the wig. The color that I received was PLT 1B slash 2730. Now, if you guys don't know what that is, that's pretty much, it's not ombre, it's just highlights. As you can see, this right here is like halfway ombre, halfway, you know, full. So, you know, in the full time, sometimes I don't want to do a full blonde. Sometimes just like a pick a of blonde. As you know, I did a review also with highlights last Wednesday. So I really want to kind of not downplay too much of the blonde, but just like a pick a of blonde or not too much blonde. I received the highlights. When I received it, my first con was now that I'm into the ombre effect, I kind of just like to see the blonde. So uh, I kind of got out of the highlights because sometimes when you put highlights in, it can definitely just look really streaky. So I said, you know what, every wig is fixable. So right off the back, I said, I already know how to, you know, just pretty much take out some of the highlights. So let's look at the wig. All right. And the wig name is Ebony. Okay. She's Ebony. And pretty much she is very, very big with curls. And this color right here, this is pretty much, uh, this is the like the purple reddish family tone here that I got before. It's a very beautiful color. This color is the uh, 425 with the B, 1B at the bottom and on top is the color. And they also have your DR30 if you guys are still into 30s. They also have a 30 as well. Now let's see. Um, so let's try it. Let's see what it looks like. Now, when I received it, I looked at the part first because that's the first thing I look at because sometimes when you have curly hair, the part is just really small. You can't see it and it just looks like a big poofy mess. But with this lace here, you can leave it as is or you can put concealer or you can tweeze out the part. Um, I didn't do the tweezing. All I did was put the concealer on and it was pretty much enough for me. So this is the parting. So this parting has to be at least five inches. Is it five inches? I think it's five inches long. It's a very nice parting. And so is the hairline. Okay. Now I know you're wondering, okay, so where does the hair go, you know, when you try to do the faux bob? So this is where it is. I also have a video right here for you guys to show you how it looks clearer. So it's right here down here like a little mommy kangaroo pouch right here and what I did was I actually used the drawstring. The drawstring is not for the wig itself to adjust it like a half wig. What it is is to just close up the pouch but I saw that I like using the drawstring 
as a ponytail holder because it was a lot more cleaner. I saw, I mean, you can put a hair tie in your hair, but let's say if you don't have any because they run out in the house, especially if you're a girl and you have young toddler girls. You run out of these really, really quick and you have no clue where they are. So pretty much I just used the drawstring, you know, and I put it in a ponytail and then I just stuffed it underneath the pouch right there, okay? All right, so with the combs, what I, listen, when it comes to lace wigs, I'm sorry, I don't care what wig company you are, always put the combs on the side temples right here because that's when you get the flattest lace. And even if you have a low hairline like myself, like I have a low hairline, we can blend it in so much better, okay? So that's what I love about this wig the most is that the combs are right here on the side of the temple and they're not right here by the part because then you have no comb here and then it's just flapping all over the place. But this right here is a very nice secure wig and it also has a small comb right above um, where it normally is. So I know people are going to say, okay, how? where's the pouch? Where's the comb in the back? The pouch is right here at the bottom and the comb is right here, a small comb right there. Okay, and it has adjustable straps. So I'm going to try this bad girl on, and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So here she is. This is Ebony, and this is her curl pattern, and this is her front. This is all her hairline. Okay, and this is the lace parting, which is an L part. As you can see, all I did was put a, a concealer on there. I didn't put, I didn't have to tweeze it. It's kind of, it's, it's wide enough for me. I don't like really wide, wide parts. So, but um, I did have to, like I said, I did cut out a lot of the 27 because I thought it was a little too streaky. Um, I also cut it with my scissor. Um, here's a little tip for you guys. When you're, you are cutting a curly wig, don't use... Uh, don't use the razor comb because the razor comb is going to make it all fluffy and it's going to look fuzzy. So I, I notice a lot of people use razor combs when it comes to cutting certain wigs. So I'm telling you, razor combs are not for curly hair. So after I framed my face, I cut some short pieces right here because when it comes to big curly hair, sometimes you can be swallowed up into it. Uh, but what I love about the hairline, you can put it behind your ear. Well, don't mind mine. I have to put some edge control. But once you get edge control into that system, um, you can. I cut little pieces here because I did the bob. So you can just have a little side piece right here. It's going to be your side piece, your jump off over here, okay? So that's how I pretty much styled it because I don't really like big hair all in my face because I have like an oval shaped face. So um, showing a little bit of my jawline actually softens up the darkness and the bigness of this hair okay so let me show you what the back looks like you know what I had to work with this wig for the simple fact that it was really big and you guys know I'm not really big big hair girl but being that it's so soft you don't have to fluff it out too much so like I said I had to frame it to my face and just cut little pieces to put like little personality that I'm used to doing like the little side little bang hair and just flatten it on this side and fluffing up this side because I love me a side piece hair I love side swing hair if you guys seen my video I love it to the side so you kind of want to flatten it down on this side if you're like me if you're not really into just big hair all 360 and you just kind of want it 180 this is a good way to do it okay so here are the videos that I have made for you guys how to do the bob okay so what I did simply was like I said this is a drawstring that's in the back and I told you that I wanted to use the drawstring because sometimes we may not have a little tie or you know you don't have any more or you're in the different place let's say if you about to have a fight 
and you need to tuck in your hair. You got the drawstring right here. So I used the drawstring and then I just pretty much just tucked it into the little pouch. Once you tuck it into the little pouch, then you can kind of flare out your hair to make it look like a bob or short hairstyle. So what I did, just fluffed it out, trying to make the front of it look a little bit longer than the back, kind of shorten the back a little bit more. And then you'll see in this video that I did cut the side um, to make it look like it's a short piece as well. But like I said, if you're not into the short bob look in this hair, they have other uh, faux bob hair lace wigs. So you don't have to always focus on the curly hair. So this is what I did. Like I said, I'm going to be using this while I'm going to the pools. Because a lot of times my hair just gets wet, even though synthetic hair dries. But sometimes it's cold when you get out the pool. So we go to the YMCA. So this is a great look if you're cleaning, working out, if you're swimming, or you just want a, you know, a short curly bob look. Those are the two ways that you can wear it. And then the third way that you can use it is in the little ponytail right here. Okay, so when I'm going to put it in the ponytail, I'm going to put it nicely and pretty. So this is the ponytail way. So this is, see, as you can see, my personality piece right here that I cut. It's not just, you know, a wig and a ponytail. You can really make a ponytail really chic when it comes to wigs. So you can have some hanging down and have it in the ponytail. Well, that was what it looked like in the ponytail, but you know, I like my hair out like this, slick to the side, personality side piece right here, comb out a little bit of the color. So yes, so if you see the before and after picture, you can alter any wig that you want. If it's something that you want to fix, fix it. But just remember, measure twice. Cut once, okay? Thanksgiving here. You go into one family to your friends and then your cousins, your friends' friends. Hey, how you doing? Can I have a plate? It's one of those type of hairs, you know? The texture of it is like Indian wavy hair, like Indian curly hair. Because Indian hair is a little bit more shiny and thicker. So I would definitely have to say that it feels and looks like Indian hair, but the curl is more Brazilian, you know? So I really do appreciate uh, Outre for picking me for this review with this gorgeous hair. See, I made it blend a lot better right there. But yeah, thank you so much guys for rocking with me with another Wig Wednesdays. And you guys go pick you up some Outre because you got, I, I'm going to put all my Outre's links down below. Like Outre is really stepping up with their wigs. Their laces are laid. Okay, and the hairline is really nice. All right, ladies, thank you so much for rocking with me with another Wig Wednesdays with this outre gorgeous ebony. All right, so this is a faux bob, if you guys don't remember, the faux bob with the lace L part. And they have other colors and all that stuff, so I'm going to put outre's information all down below. And every pretty much hair.com has this hair, so... You know, so you can go to any of those dot .com, hair.coms areas and get this wig. All right, ladies. Thank you for rocking with me.